tweet- tweeters, twitters, whatever. <laughs> and then um, also when I was driving by Popeyes, they're like now hiring uh, more people, <laughs> more managers. So I was like, oh, dude, they are getting ready for yeah, yeah, they're ready for the rush, man. All right, everybody, welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about sweating and video games. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Up. I'm here with my man's Rick, a.k.a. A Noob Every Day. What's going on, man? I'm a believer, a firm believer of ergonomics for computers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? I just, I just, so my coworker, you know, I was looking at his setup and I could see why he's like all ergonomical. His, his, his keyboard is all split in half. He has that standing oh up desk God. now and he has this mouse. This is the one that got me. He has this mouse that, uh. You know, it's like kind of vertical, so it's not like you you're like resting your palm. You're yeah, actually your hand is sideways. sideways. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't really care for that. And I even tried it at one point, and I was like, ah, whatever. I didn't really care. But I think it was like four days ago or something like that. I was typing, and I was putting my, I was like moving the mouse, and my, I could feel my fingers were like hurting. Oh and I no! I was like, what the fuck? I am not old enough to have arthritis right now. Uh-huh. So I was like bored and i started like googling or am- looking for amazon stuff the like an ergonomical mouse and i saw one for like 10 bucks so i got it and i said you know what i'll just try it out since then i i haven't brought it to work yet because i just got it this weekend but i been i had it out and every time i'm playing video games you know your hand is always like in that crunch crimped position uh-huh uh-huh I would just randomly grab that mouse just to hold it so I can stretch out my fingers. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So those, I, I've seen those before, the ergonomic mouses, and they are. They're just your mouse except turned sideways, right? Sideways, yeah. How does that stretch out your hand more? Is it bigger or something, or is it squared out? It's the way it's positioned. So it's like your hand is more in the open state position rather than when your mouse is onto like if you think about you're putting your hand on the mouse you know it's like kind of crimped and it's like i don't know how to describe it but either way when it's sideways it's like you're giving a handshake to somebody okay do you claw your hand like do you just put the there you tips go. of your That's fingers on claw. you just put yeah, the tips I, of your fingers on the mouse i claw my my current mouses oh yeah. see that's why you're better at some shooters than me because i just rest my whole hand and I just aim with my wrist, dude. I'm completely. Oh, different. like you have your fingers all stretched out. And yeah, everything. yeah. I just rest my uh, hand on that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's why I have the like the wireless. That's why wireless is so big to me now because yeah. you know my shit could get wrapped up real quick, or like it could grab a hold of something if I'm just moving my wrist. But you're like moving your whole arm to move the mouse, right? Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's different. But dude, are you me? Because I have a new coworker, and um. She well, she's permanent, and she took the place of that one lady that like yelled at me and, and walked out and stuff. Um, <laughs> and she's the same thing. She has the ergonomic keyboard that's split into three parts, dude. And then her mouse is, it's like, how can I explain this, dude? It's just this metal circular bar cylinder. And you just roll it up and down. It's like oh, my coworker has the other. My other coworker has that. Yeah, yeah. It's like a thin, long um, scroll like a, wheel, yeah. and then you could slide it back and forth to move the mouse back and forth. Yep, and you, and you just move slide it with your it thumbs up and down. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And it looks crazy to me, right? But whenever she types, because she does, she has the keyboard split out, and she has three pieces to it. It's the left side with ASDF, and then the right side with you know the rest and then she has a number pad too just in case she needs to do data entry mm-hmm. so i saw her typing notes on something and she ha- she looked like it was gundam seed dude she was typing <laughs> moving her hands around to different keyboards if she needed numbers and then she rolled the little mouse track wheel back and forth i was like what the fuck dude the seed just dropped right now <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy man but wow okay good for you man are you gonna bring that mouse to work or what yeah, that, uh, that's the purpose I bought it. It's just for work so I can, uh, yeah, because I, I feel it, you know, like when I'm resting my hand, my hand is starting to like crunch up or scrunch up or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, when I was playing video oh, yeah. games, I just like 
put my controller down randomly when we're loading and I would just rest my hand. I'm like, oh man, this feels nice. Uh-huh. So, golly, I don't want to be, I don't like being at that point where I have to even <laughs> worry about this stuff, you know? Like, first, it's the, the first Rick gets, you know, those little straps. So he never has to tie his shoes. And now he gets an ergonomic mouse, dude. What's, what's happening to you, man? Yeah, man. And I had to get the memory pills that I forget to take still. <laughs> next, you're going to get, next, you're going to get one of those necklaces with a button just in case you fall in the shower or something, dude. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> That's the next and I was thing you're getting, dude. thinking, I was thinking, I was like, man, I don't care about style anymore. All I care <laughs> is about how comfortable, comfortable. I, I am in life. Like whether I'm wearing a big ass t-shirt that's a Snuggie or <laughs> I was even thinking about like trying out those Crocs. I was like, damn, dude, I am getting at that age. <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm kind of with you on that one. I, yeah, I'm with you. I I really don't care about style anymore either. But you know what it is too. I think it's what we're used to wearing is not cool anymore. You know, just regular jeans and a t-shirt. And it's like people wear like high waters and just really really loose shirts and shit nowadays, dude. So it's it's fucking different out here, man. Yeah, that's why I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm gonna be the next trend center, and I'm gonna have like a yukata over here in Japan, in America, and yeah, that's, that's gonna insane. be my thing. But no, because so that yukata stuff that has just three fourth sleeves, right? That's the sleeves that go over your elbow and like halfway yeah. through your forearm. Those are so uncomfortable for me, man. Is like it? Yeah. uh. Okay, well, at least Hawaiian for me. shirts. I'm gonna bring back Hawaiian shirts. I'll rock with the Hawaiian shirts, man. But at least for me, like I don't know if you've ever had a baseball shirt. You know the ones with the different colored sleeves in that. Those end, yeah, right about at your forearm, and it's so uncomfortable for me. I just feel like, okay, what am I doing here? Am I trying to wear a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt? It's not reaching. Oh the way, yeah, because you know? it's like rubbing against that forearm. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not used to it, man. <laughs> It's like you want to keep extending it all the way to your wrist, but you can't. Exactly, so you, exactly. You can't have it to your shirt because it's too long. Yeah, yeah. Like, understand. what am I doing? Is it hot today? Is it cold today? I don't know. I think it's just <laughs> warm today, so I'll just wear a three-fourth sleeve shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my only thing with it. Um, but yeah, dude, it's been a kind of a long week, man. And mm. the weekend just went by so quick, too, dude. Yeah, that sucks, man. It was just yesterday. I was like, hell yeah, weekend. And then now, <laughs> God, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> no, I know, dude. I had to, so like I said, I had a new person at work. So I've been training them the whole week. And this just made every day go by so slow. You know, it's like yeah. I have to slow down the work that I do so I can really show her how, how, how to work out everything. Oh, crazy thing is, she plays Pokemon Go. It was just random how she she saw me playing in the stairwell and went, oh, man, you play Pokemon Go, too? I go, oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. She's fucking level 40, has all these Pokemon and stuff, dude. Damn. So, you know, I didn't want her to be cool with me like that yet, right? They were just meaning, man. I don't want you to think we're all buddy-buddy and shit after a couple hours. Come on. You got to earn my friendship, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to be a jerk about it and I say, well, I spoof, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and boy did that do the trick man <laughs> she gave you the stink she eye care. yeah she doesn't care about shit that i do in pokemon go <laughs> <laughs> she goes she's married and right? she's like well yeah my husband thinks that that's lazy you know that's not what the core of the game values are <laughs> Like, I don't give okay. a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you your husband you thinks? Tell me how to play my fucking video game over here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you have your own phone. <laughs> Let me hang out with my Farfetch'd and my uh, my Torkoal real quick. <laughs> and go ahead there with your missing Pokemon in your Pokédex. Yep, but, uh, exactly. Yeah, man. So I had, to, I had to dead that real quick. We couldn't be too buddy-buddy yet. I just had to salt up the relationship real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's what's just made my week go by so slow. And then, yeah, you're right, man. You just think, oh, we finally made it to the weekend after this long ass week. You blink and it's fucking Sunday night already, dude. RIP, man. <sighs> yep. RIP. RIP. Um, but yeah, we made it through the weekend. Ah, and gave me the opportunity to finally just really go in on Monster Hunter World. Hooray. It felt like I got carried. I think I finished the main story. Uh, I've been waiting, you know, about a week and a half to fight Black Veil Valhazak, and we killed him in two seconds. I didn't even need to heal because Scott was healing us, dude. 
It was crazy, man. You just made it seem really easy. I was all nervous, man. Yeah, that was the thing. It's because all of our armors are like really strong and high in defense. So mm -hmm. that's why I like we weren't we didn't really care and we just went all out yeah. on the, the the monsters. And that was the thing. I was like, yeah, we don't have to fear this thing cuz we I think we fought it so many times. So we got <laughs> used to the whole mechanics of when he does his specials. I don't even think we even, did he ever do his specials? He uh, his yeah. What does it do? So he just puts a bunch of white stuff on the ground and what? So yeah, that stuff is supposed to uh, like drain your life if you if you step over it. Oh. But the safest spot is right under him when he does it. Oh, because nothing drops there. Yeah, exactly. It uh, just scatters all over. Okay, so. fair enough. Yeah. Well, we whooped his ass a couple times because I needed to do some elder dragon research after that. And then fought, oh god, I forgot his name because I found him and then fought him and killed him real quick. The water dragon. What's his name? Oh, Namio. Yeah, that guy's kind of cool. I like him. Um, he's kind of like, actually, no, you, you can't compare him to anything because this type of shit is new, dude. That's I think they did a good job of making all these new monsters with new abilities and, and tactics did, to fight them. Because he puts did, the water everywhere. Yeah, did you get caught in his little slip and slide ways? So when yes, a couple times when he does he drink the water or something? Yeah, he, sucks he it drinks back the in? water okay. to get buff. Yeah, so that's what he was doing. He he sucked it back in, and that's when I started moving towards him. And then he jumped up and then dropped back down and electrocuted all the water spots. That's crazy. I could yeah. see where if I was by myself, that would have just broke my spirit. But um, no. He was fairly easy too. I really wanted to break his tail <clears throat> just to see how it was, right? Because the way he is, his wings go from the tip of his arms all the way back to the tip of his tail. So I thought if we cut off his tail, we'd just fuck up all his wings. No, you just cut off the very tip of his tail. Yeah, the very little <laughs> tiny tip. <laughs> That's bullshit to me, man. Same thing with uh, Glavinus. Is that the one with the uh, sword tail? The one where yeah. he swings it at you? Yeah. You cut off his tail, it's just like the edge, and that's it. He could still whack the shit out of you with his tail, man. <laughs> yeah. There are better consequences for, for breaking parts off of monsters, you know? It takes a bitch and a half to do it, so it might as well have a have a greater effect on the fight, I think. Did you um, get caught in Namiel's super? That uh, explosion one? Yes, and like I, he dives bombs yeah, everything with all this water. Yeah, water, and then it explodes with lightning. Yeah, I barely survived that shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it, man. I think that's a cool fight. Um, we'll definitely see if he starts to hit harder. I guess that's where it'll be a little bit more challenging for me. But I think that's my favorite monster out of the new ones so far. It was Glavinus? He was pretty sick. Um, what else was there? Oda Garen, dude. He's just easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. Um, I farmed him a little bit for his armor. And the fight's not too different, man, between the old and the new one, right? He just jumps on the walls a little bit more, I think. And then shoots the red stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm really never standing in front of a monster. So it's it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of just easy peasy. Uh, the pickle devil Joe, the black and red version, that guy's still a pain in the asshole, man. Yeah. He sucks. Um, the Tigrix, Nargakuga, uh, Barioth, I think that's the one that looks like a saber tooth tiger. Those guys are still a pain in the ass for me. Um, I don't, I haven't figured out how to fight them that easily yet, but everything else is, is not too bad. Um, so after Numelia, is that what it is? Namiel? Namiel. There you go. After that, ate some dinner and came back and really wanted to push through the story and i saw that i was near the end so i fought like what, what's this one called the angry uh um, shara no nah, not that one what's the first one the one that's on the cover man how am i forgetting his name dude don't know the spines oh uh, volcana or nergagante yeah there you go like the angry nergagante is and you're just in a stadium it's just a it's like you're a beyblade and shit yep and just, he's like rolling around. Yeah, it's just a circular speed thing, of light. dude. Yeah, and I think I failed it once, right? And then the second time I fought him, I just couldn't figure out how to dodge his his dive bomb, dude. 
I think I dodged it twice and it was by accident. <laughs> the other times I dodged it, I was wearing the the mantle that makes you dodge everything, dude. So I just got super lucky in that fight, man. Um, and then after that, the ground kind of breaks and it's all epic where the handle's like, oh, let him go. He's our only hope. He's a fiver, like all this inspirational bullshit, you know? And you're just walking while this cave is falling around you and then you jump down but that's my favorite anime thing of all time i think is when people are falling and then they're jumping off of debris that's falling too that's my favorite anime like there's something like that in naruto or something right uh, i think so <laughs> but you, you know what i'm talking about right like it's when where you were... they're just falling debris but then you're like still not crashing down you're just jumping on from rock to rock exactly that's falling that's my favorite anime thing ever i'll get hype if you put that in your anime hands down dude <laughs> oh yeah they they totally did that in monster hunter the... yeah in that part <laughs> after you <laughs> kill their gigante and whatever rock monster eats it and then you just fall down and you're trying to save your cat and shit like that so yeah. you fall down there you know i had already died twice to their gigante before i'd already fallen down here and I'm looking in front of me. It's just like this big golem dog thing with wings, right? Mm -hmm. And the fight starts, and then the the handler goes, "You're our sapphire star." Started believing in myself. I was like, "Yeah, that's right. I am the sapphire star." I walked forward. The dude flies up, lands down, and I die and fail the mission, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we need so another I Sapphire know. Star. I was all pumped. I was like, yes, I am the Sapphire Star. I just die real quick, man. Fucking super horrible. Um, second time around, I fight him. I think I'm going to kill him. Then all the rocks shut off, and he turns into like this Dark Souls, Demon Souls boss, dude. And it took me the whole almost 50, 45 minutes to, to kill him, but definitely did it. I was sweating my ass off the whole time, dude, because I had one life left. But I think I'm, I think I'm finally ready to to join you guys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> finally, after like two months, after fucking Iceborne's been out, I finally finished the game, dude. Ray, but yeah. that's not the end. You still got to go through the guiding lands. Then, when you reach, well, I guess, rank a hundred, mm -hmm. then that's when the story ends. So guiding lines. Or not really. It's just continue. <laughs> the end game stuff. When do I get to unlock the, the gorilla thing? I kind of want to fight the gorilla thing. Uh, I think when you reach 100. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That's what I'm looking forward to next is to see. He's horrible. He's how very, much... very powerful. Yeah. I just want to see how much XP I've been throwing away by doing random investigations and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. to see uh what level i really am dude i feel like goku when he's taking off his uh his ankle weights and shit like that dude <laughs> well yeah and i was telling rick earlier i i think i want to get into a new weapon man because long sword for me now is is kind of boring i'm super effective with it i think but it's just like i could fight a monster closing my eyes dude i don't even have to like rotate the camera to look at the monster anymore i'm just <laughs> slicing away i know what i'm looking for oh i got hit i'll just heal real quick so looking at the uh switch x which could be kind of cool i just watch a couple youtube videos dude how did you figure to switch to bow and, and great sword man after the gun uh, lines? that's when i started mastering the or getting the weapons and the armor armor sets and mm -hmm. then i was coming close to completing it and so i was like you know what? I need to actually start changing it up. And there is actually two monsters that I I can't really... I can beat them with the gun lance, mm -hmm. but I have a really difficult time doing so. So like, I had to either switch to a greatsword or a bow. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like all, Almost every monster I fought with a gun lance, I beat it. But mm -hmm. this I was like having trouble. So yeah, definitely different weapons and it, you know i was kind of getting bored of doing the same combos mm -hmm. so yeah great sword was pretty fun i was experimenting with that and the bow was getting pretty fun because i was making so many different bows and then now i think i might start moving on to a new weapon maybe sword and shield or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Are like you still Geralt. using? Yeah, I was gonna say, are you still <laughs> using the Geralt um, layered armor, man? Yeah, so I have either him or uh, like a beetle-looking armor. So I'm like a beetleborg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You wonder why I unlock those the the layered armors. That's the regular armors. They should be doing it right now. Like when you go to the armor guy and mm-hmm. then you click forge layered armors, the list should have expanded a lot. So you can like craft a bunch of uh, armors and mix and match all of the pieces. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll have to look. I just recently started selling all my old stuff too, since I'm not using it anymore. Like yeah, you don't, you don't. You don't need the old sword. Yeah, you don't need any of all that. So, uh, especially for the layered, you just need to collect stuff like monster master rank versions of the monster in mm. order to unlock the layered armor. Oh, okay. 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 So there's not, so it's not like original Monster Hunter, right? Monster Hunter World, at least, where there was the low rank and the high rank armors. Is there the same thing in like low master, high master rank armor? For layered? Uh, no. Oh, no, not for layered, but for, for regular stuff. Uh, yeah, there's the, there's like lower master and high ranks armor. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, you'll be focusing all on the master and you'll be like throwing away all of your, your lower, and your high rank armors. Dang. So is there even a point for the low rank stuff anymore? Well, I mean like the I guess it's called high rank. Is there a point for the high rank stuff anymore? Um certain layered armors you do need high rank monsters. Ah, like okay. the okay. arc tempered whatever monster, the elder dragons. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you have to defeat those in order to get tickets to unlock their version of the layered armors. Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. bunch of layered armors that are in high rank and low ranks that you can't get in master rank. Has have you fought the arch tempered stuff since Iceborne came out? Dude, we annihilated Dino Jiva. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. So I was I wanted to experiment today and mm-hmm. I was like there's one monster I have not beaten till this day, and that's the extreme behemoth. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. I, you know, I, I launched it up, and then Dustin joined me, and I was like, "Oh, cool! You know, we're gonna like die together because you know we're gonna be awesome. We have this awesome armor and whatnot." When we started the the battle, dude, we were like annihilating everything. Like I didn't, I wouldn't even block anything. Literally, uh-huh. we're just like hitting and shooting away. We didn't even care about our defense too much, and we didn't take too much of a damage either. And we didn't care about the placement of the tornado. The tornadoes were like all scattered all over the place. <laughs> I even have a clip of it. It's just complete chaos, and I'm just running in all the tornadoes, getting hit, flown, but I'm only taking like literally one out of a hundred damage mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. but the thing is when we got to the i think it's the the third phase or whatever uh right before the last phase and you have to do so much damage if not he's not going to cast the comet where you mm-hmm. you hide behind so that's i think i have to re-experiment see if we can actually go past that that zone but yeah uh one of these days we can try it out you know Mm -hmm. uh, fight him because all our master dude Dude, yeah it is not (laughs) bad at all i was like not even sweating i was like literally holding block eating an apple pie i was like (laughs) it's not really bad it's not too bad damn that's insane man apple pie you still have your julian pies dude i kind of ate it all today right now uh i was like man i just bought this thing like yesterday and it's already gone so, yep. And th- this one, it was already cooked, though. Like, uh, I, I don't okay. think I'm going to get the frozen ones anymore because, yeah, the last time we got the frozen ones, that one triggered all the fire alarms. And then I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but we had a bunch of fire alarm testing recently this whole <laughs> week. <laughs> it's your fault, dude. It's because of you, man. Exactly. So that's why I was like, um, maybe I was triggering a bunch of false alarms. But, uh, yep. Good to know that our, our our alarms are all working. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, I'm I'm down, man. I'd be down to try fighting Behemoth dude and getting all the armor and stuff. Cause I, I yeah, I don't have any of the armor actually. Yeah, I just yeah, cause we get the layered armor, the dragoon layered armor from him. Ah, okay, yeah. And you get yeah, a yeah. title that you can wear about and show that everyone that you're a badass motherfucker. Do you it have to funny. fight him five times, dude? 
No, or... just, I think one time. Oh, okay. That's good. Then, but then. the thing that was funny is like when I was – like I read all the, the monsters' descriptions and – but then when you read Extreme Behemoth, I think it's like in red that this is extremely difficult, you know, they recommend a party or something like that. I'm like, uh -huh. wow, I guess he's that extreme. So, yeah, he is literally the hardest one. He's the one that I haven't uh, beaten yet. Yeah, the thing is just because it has that specific mechanic, right, where uh, you have to do a certain amount of damage and then you have to run behind the, the things, the, the comets or meteors. To, yeah. to protect yourself at the same time he can attack those and break them so exactly and yeah i think that's that's the only tricky part like i i wasn't even really worried about my health at all mm -hmm. i was like yeah this is not bad you don't have to worry about dying you know i got hit by an explosion only like maybe one fourth of my life got taken off <laughs> and then i just healed back so i was like yeah this is not bad at all Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm totally down. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, Monster Hunter World, where we thought it ended, it's actually just beginning. Well, at least for me, man. You guys are... What hunter, What master rank are you now? Um, I am probably 130-ish or Jeez. something around that. Yeah, man. No, you, you guys are see way up Rest. There. Rest is like maybe 200, 300. I don't even know. He's gone. He's, He's gone. gone, man. <laughs> He's a gone man. <laughs> <laughs> What's your timer at in, uh, your in game time? I don't know, but I'm going to guess it's doubled. So maybe a thousand hours. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I think mine, I think I barely finally passed 400 after. Nah, man, this you're weekend. gone. You're like probably at 500 with us. <laughs> I'll check. I'll check and we'll confirm that next week. But I think I'm at 400. I was at 380 at the beginning of this weekend. And oh, okay. um, after playing, yeah, I'm probably past 400 now, which I don't think is as much as Destiny. I think I definitely spent more time playing Destiny than this game. Um, but I could see where I could get lost in it because you're right. You know, you do get bored with your weapons and then you want to switch it up. And then when you do switch it up to another weapon, it's like a completely different game. You know, the whole your whole approach just fucking changes, man, and turns from a beat em up to like a RTS game if you're using a different weapon. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Especially when I went from Gunlance. Oh, that, yeah, that changed. So uh, Gunlance, you're blocking a lot, but mm -hmm. when going straight to, you know, the Greatsword, I was getting close and personal. I was like, man, this is strange not having a block at all. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Bow where you're just like, yeah, you can't even be near the monster and you're dodging infinitely. But mm -hmm. when I put like the window jumping, I guess a jumping decoration where I can hop with my gun lats, mm -hmm. I think I barely hold the block button now. I'm just like spamming my gun shells so well you could dodge and roll with the gun lance if you have no that no no, no, no. It's, it just makes me jump farther oh okay okay yeah okay. a lot farther so all it takes is like maybe two hops backwards and i'm already out of the monster's danger zone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's cool like i never put my gun lance away ever since i had those those decorations now okay I just hop to the monster and i'm already there and you don't even need to sharpen that shit huh mm, yeah, no because my weapon is already white sharpness and oh, okay yeah my gun lance shells or they, they don't, don't affect too the much <laughs> well they do a little oh, bit they do. But not too bad you know okay okay yeah but still i'm like man this is amazing yep. crazy crazy yeah i'll need to change it up to make it interesting for me again so we'll see we'll yeah. see what the next weapon adventure is for me in, in monster hunter world and you'd be surprised too when you have like epiphany dude i had an epiphany this week i woke up one morning and i was running late for work i woke up one morning and i was like <gasps> what if i switch two pieces on my gun lance build and i switched those two pieces that morning like i like really, really logged in <laughs> <laughs> just to try it out <laughs> yeah just to try it out because i was curious and holy shit i made a, a really really balanced perfect build like all pure attack all pure blocking all pure defense mm -hmm. all pure er everything just maxed out and i was like god damn this is amazing 
So yeah, went to work late that day, and <laughs> <laughs> for good reason though. It's for the love of Monster Hunter, dude. So for good reason, man. Exactly. So yeah, <laughs> it's crazy how switching two pieces around can change your entire build and how you play it. <laughs> uh, so we were speaking earlier about Pokemon Go. They got a Halloween event right now. Um, so you know me, the local Pokemon Go criminal dude. I've been spoofing my ass everywhere, man. Um, been catching the costume starters. Only downside is you can't evolve them. I'm, I'm kind of upset about That's that, dude. Booty. Yeah. <laughs> So I think Charmander's dressed up as a Cubone. Mm -hmm. Um, Bulbasaur's dressed up as Ninjask. I think that's what it's called, dude. And then uh, Squirrel's dressed up as Yamax. Yamask, I think. He's just wearing a little top hat with a bunch of stuff in it. Um, So I've done all the raids to catch him, one each. And that's Don't forget Pikachu, how he's... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the I mini think that's, cute. that's kind of rude, yeah. Yeah, that is the rudest thing I've ever like. I was like, oh, that's cute, but still, that is rude as shit, you know. Like, you read the backstory of Mimikyu, he's uh-huh. like, oh, yeah, he wants to be loved, so he dresses like Pikachu. And now, look at this Pikachu motherfucking that's already loved, <laughs> dresses like Mimikyu, and it's like amplifying his cuteness, so it's like rude as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I immediately got that too. That's kind of funny. I wonder if that's just the, the, uh, the, the, the common. Um, conclusion when people see that is just oh Pikachu you asshole man can't maybe you just have one thing why do you got to steal this from him exactly exactly so caught all those guys yeah caught the Pikachu as well caught a your mask evolved him to that coffin go or whatever um there's a Lapras event in Japan right now so there's a bunch of Lapras spawning around so I've been running around trying to get a shiny um Anyways, catching all these, there was a Moltres day in Japan somewhere, so they just had Moltres raids with no timer. It was kind of crazy, dude. For one whole day, you just saw Moltres in every gym, and there was no timer on it. It was kind of insane, dude. I don't know why they did this. Um, So just been kind of messing around, doing all that, and I've reached the limit, dude. In my bag, I have 700 spots and 699 Pokemon. So oh I just God. <laughs> will never be able to catch anything new if they come up with any new Pokemon. <laughs> you can trade me. I need some of those Pokemon. <laughs> the, the most upsetting part, right, is that, oh, I do need to trade you still. I might trade you after this, man. Hell yeah. If you haven't made a special trade yet. The most upsetting part about this is that I just recently, you know, had 160 coins. And one of my Pokemon got knocked out of a gym, got the full 50 coins. So I had 210 coins, right? So I got go to the shop. I'm ready. I'm gonna. I'm about to choose. Um, you know, your Pokemon um, bag. Have, being able to hold 50 more of them, so I can have 750. Not have to worry about deleting shit anymore. And I see the new styles available, so I can just casually click it, see what the Halloween styles are. And that's when I see it, dude. The Bulbasaur hoodie, in all its glory. It's green. You can also get his Bulbasaur bulb backpack, I think. <laughs> I'm, okay, don't tell me that, dude. Because I'm going to fucking buy him, man. See? 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 So I see this Bulbasaur hoodie. I almost hoodie. bought the, the, the Squirtle shell with the like, real money. Oh, that's fucking gangster, dude. Wait, what does Charmander have then? Nothing? I don't know. Let me let me, let me double check. But so, yeah, I almost bought the Squirtle with real money. I was like, damn it, I was dude. Like, dude, I got to put my shit in po- uh, gems. <laughs> so I just happened to see this Bulbasaur hoodie. With a Bulbasaur, when you put the hood on, it has his face and his little ears. It's green. It's perfect. I already have black jeans that I could wear with it and, you know, black and green shoes. So I'm like, oh, man. I've been dressing up like a safari park ranger for, for a good while now, for an entire summer. I think it's time to get ready for fall and put on this put on this hoodie, you know. I buy the hoodie, 200 coins out the pocket. I just have 10 coins left. Going around doing these events again. <laughs> <laughs> I see a clink because I don't have a clink yet. <laughs> go to catch it. And I see another clink. I go, oh man, yeah, I need more candy. <laughs> go to catch it, fight it in the raid and everything. When I get to the challenge, my bag is full. I can't even catch it. I just have to run. I was so mad, dude. Damn. <laughs> it's like one of those things where, you know, you walk into a store and you're like, all right, I need to buy a pair of shoes, you know? <laughs> and then you go around, you see. 
I don't know, a Snickers bar or something. You buy Snickers, then you see Reese's Pieces. Oh, let me get Reese's Pieces too. And you're like, okay, I think I'm good. You leave the store with just fucking candy and no shoes. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happened to fucking me, man. <laughs> RIP. I got fucking distracted. Ooh, a piece of candy. Yep, it is a bulb. I see bulb backpack. Okay. Charmander's is a fire backpack, like a little flame. And Does it look like his tail? Turtle shell. Yeah, it's a, I guess so. Yeah, it looks more like his the tail, of, uh, the fire on his tail. It's like uh, a big fire. It looks kind of cool. Um, yep, I bet you're going to buy that because, damn, I want to buy the shell. How much is I gotta it? I got to save $2 of real money and just put my shit in a gym already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, just put it in a gym, man. 200 coins, damn it. Just put it in a. Oh my God! There is a Bulbasaur. Oh God damn it, dude! Just put it in a. You know, just put it in a Fuddruckers over by your house, dude. Oh, oh nobody that's take it from right. Me. Nobody really. I need to do that. I just need to stop by that place and just put my shit there. Because no one really challenged. It's in an awkward position where you have to. You can't park near it. Mm-hmm. You, the only way you can get near it is if you're driving on the street. Mm-hmm. So it's like you either have to pull over to the side in the red curb and, and fight that gym or either walk to it. So, yeah, I might actually put it there. Oh, uh, see, that's funny. Same minds again, man. I know by my house, if I'm at a certain stoplight, if I'm four cars from the stoplight, I'm right in the perfect place to, to spin a pokey stop, man. <laughs> so every time I'm at that light, if I, I count four cars, oh. Let me open up Pokemon Go real quick and, and spin this stop because I'm in the perfect place for it, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, that I've noticed that all over your your whole street. You know, like I'm like, oh man, if only I was like two or three cars behind, I would actually be able to reach this gym. <laughs> they this definitely did that on purpose. They did that shit on purpose, man. Yeah, they don't put it exactly on the corner. <laughs> Yeah, you can't be the first to the light and be yeah, at the stoplight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck, man. Uh, so I tried to get behind people in order to reach that <laughs> gym. <laughs> There's one car ahead of you. You just stop super early, dude. There's just mad room in front of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, good fucking times, dude. Good times. Um, so, yeah, Pokemon Go. Still kicking, man. Um, uh, did any other new Pokemon release besides your mask, man? Uh, there's like a lot of that I don't recognize because I never played this generation. Dude, yeah, I haven't recognized Pokemon since three years ago, dude, or since two dude. years ago. Yeah, when uh, they I caught a, like a little stuff. horse with a lightning bolt, bolt on top of his head. You know, like, oh. oh, that looks cool. Speaking of horse, did you see the Sword and Shield version of Ponyta, dude? Yes, and a lot of people are already exposing their furriness into it so <laughs> yeah i don't He's... feel comfortable <laughs> <laughs> you mean an adult <laughs> you mean an adult man <laughs> dude th- i think it's the, the the smartest move uh pokemon could have ever done man just cash in on all the bronies dude that, that's basically <laughs> what they did yeah <laughs> they, they did i think i was reading comments and they're like oh man it looks hot and i was like oh no oh, dude, no. No, no 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 oh, no i'm in the wrong side of twitter oh no dude <laughs> god damn it man internet bro yep internet well yeah i guess to each their own um there was also a video for the gigamax i think they're called Gigamax Pokemon that you could have. They got Pikachu, Eevee, fucked up part is you can only get their Gigamax versions if you've played Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu. So you have Eevee, right? Uh, Let's Go Eevee, yes. yes yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So you'll just have the Eevee with like a bunch more fur on his chest or something. I think that's what happens to him when he turns big. Uh, What else? I guess if you pre-order Sword and Shield now, then you get a Gigamax Meowth just a meowth but he's longer don't know how else to explain it dude (laughs) but he's just super long and then he has no uh, pupils in his eyes oh that's the funny thing too man I fought in a raid against a Gengar you know there was already like six people in the raid so I jumped in as well 
And when you beat Gengar in Pokemon Go in, in a raid, and you know when Pokemon, you finish fighting them, their eyes close and they shrink. Yeah. <laughs> Gengar, his eyes don't close. It's just the little dots in his eyes turn into like lines. <laughs> Oh, so they close his eye, eye irises. <laughs> yeah, just his irises closed, but his still his whole eye is open, dude. <laughs> well, that's freaky. <laughs> that's just lazy. That's just super lazy to me, man. Well, no, nah, Gengar in general is lazy. His shiny version is the same as his regular version, dude. The only difference yeah. is the background sparkles. That's it, man. <laughs> Fucking horrible, dude. No love, no love for my favorite Pokemon, man. R.I.P. Um, but yeah, dude. Pokemon's going strong. I, I actually can't wait for that to come out, dude. I'm play the shit out of it. Hell yes. And I need to trade you all those Pokemons that you've been catching. Yes. Can you transfer your Pokemon from Let's Go Eevee into Sword and Shield? Mm-mm. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. I, from that to that, no, I don't know. Probably yeah. they should. Because they might actually introduce that whole... Remember that Pokemon Home? thing oh yeah 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 transfer everything all your pokemon from all types of consoles to one account so uh-huh. that you can transfer it back out or something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Huh. interesting man <laughs> yeah well that'll definitely get me playing the switch again it's funny there's been these uh big important meetings on the campus where i work so I've been bringing my Switch to work so I don't have to leave for lunch and lose my parking spot, man. Yeah. It's been a hit, dude. <laughs> Just been playing the <laughs> little NES games that you could stream for free, you know? But yeah, it's it's, it's good times, dude. Um, speaking of the Switch, did we talk about Overwatch on Switch yet, dude? Did we talk about that last week? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think it was uh, out My memory yet. pills are not working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to take those. I still have those. I haven't even used any of them. <laughs> Have you used them two days in a row yet? I at least? think only two days. Yeah, literally okay. two days okay. in a row. And <laughs> after that, I got lazy. I was so like, you're oh, good for shit. those two days, and that was it, dude. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so Overwatch came out on the Switch. I think it was this week. That's why we probably didn't talk about it. And they were supposed to have this big event in the New York Nintendo store, right? And they totally canceled it because of Blizzard's stance on Hong Kong. And Nintendo's like, nah, fuck that, dude. We don't want to be involved in that shit. <laughs> Damn. So they just yeah. canceled a whole Overwatch event, which is probably fair because from everything I've seen, um, the Nintendo Switch is the worst place to play Overwatch. <laughs> I think the <laughs> FPS just drags super hard. There's no textures in the game at all, dude. It's hard to aim, especially if you have your little joystick drift. So, yeah, man, I think it's great that people are finally willing to trash on video games <laughs> that <laughs> usually get high praise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like last week we talked about um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This week it's Overwatch on Switch, which I don't know why you'd play that anyways on the Switch when you have, you know, your console or your PC. Oh, so I was talking to one of my coworkers about this the other day, too. What do you prefer? comfort wise playing video games on a console or your pc dude not graphics wise or anything but but comfort wise yourself mainly i think recently it's been my switch because i can lay down in bed ah there you go ultimate comfort right yeah so for me and we were just talking about this earlier how i haven't played a game on my pc even though i got my new hard drive and all that but i feel like it's because it's such an ergonomical Ooh, there you go, bringing it back. An ergonomical <laughs> investment to play a game on your PC, dude. Right? You have to sit up, lean in, make sure both hands are using one mouse and then the keyboard, you know what I mean? I feel like it takes Ex- way more energy in your body to play a game on PC than on the console, dude. Exactly. So that is why it brings me back to I want a cockpit <laughs> where I can lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and connect my i don't know my ps4 controller to my pc and then i think yeah yeah i would actually that would be great that would be great but i don't want to spend fifteen thousand dollars on my cockpit yeah yeah no way man you you just need to build like virtual reality buttons you know and then just so you could like have your hands just laying down 
on the bed next to you in your cockpit or on the cockpit next to you and you can just move your fingers up and down and the virtual reality will just know what buttons you're pressing <laughs> so you don't have to actually <laughs> hold anything you know yep yep you're right but and i did have this idea though what if i was like what if I get like a stand that's on wheels okay. and it will hold my console and then I get one of those computer um, computer stands that like will hold my monitor mm -hmm. and then if I want to lay down, I can just drag that whole stand uh, to the bed and then like turn the monitor like upside down so I can lay down on the bed and play, play games. <laughs> You laugh now, but it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be making millions soon, and then it's gonna be millions. <laughs> Dude, you know, you should make that and just like even sell it to a hospital or something. You know? You yeah, yeah, like one of those there. things. Yeah, those those rolling stand things. But yeah. then it's gonna have like a monitor, and it's gonna be able to. <laughs> the arm can extend outward and turn upside down, so I can lay yeah, down on yeah. bed. And oh god, this it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, I think it's because I grew up playing consoles. Like I grew up playing the Sega Genesis, right? So I've just never gotten used or gotten fully comfortable playing PC games. I see people saying PC games are the best or PC is the best way to play a game, which can be true graphics wise, but comfort wise, man, no, nah, nothing beats holding a controller, dude. Exactly. Like I don't have to push out my arms. I don't, right now my back is hurting. I'm like, fuck. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, I'm telling you, I'm gonna invest, invent that that stand thing, and maybe I'll attach a computer to it too, so that way, I can. Ah, yeah, it's gonna be the future. I'm gonna be a billionaire. <laughs> it's gonna be the future. <laughs> I'm <gonna> be a <laughs> billionaire. <laughs> um. So yeah, dude. Overwatch on Switch. Worst way to play it. Uh, canceled event in New York. Oh, so that dude we were talking about last week, Blitzchung, they gave him his money. How great is that? Oh, hooray. <laughs> Blizzard was so embarrassed. They gave him his money and they reduced his ban, I guess. That he was supposed to be banned forever from playing Hearthstone. <laughs> but instead, they just, I think they reduced it to six months, which is a long fucking time. But uh, at least he gets to play Hearthstone again, dude. I don't know how you would prevent someone from playing, though. Would you want to play a game that banned you and <laughs> took away all of your hard-earned work? This is reminds me of that one anime. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's called King's Avatar. Mm. Basically, he was like one of the best uh, players, Korean players in mm -hmm. video games. And he was the top-notch PvPer. He did, he did well with his team, got along with his team. But then, you know, the business side done him dirty. And so, like, they banned him for a year to not play any games at all and you know but him he like for a new server of the same game he like recreated his character and then now he's like whooping on all the the veterans that he fought against uh you know i would is this this is like chinese right easy i think so i think yeah, I've it's seen not a japanese. trailer for it he has like an umbrella yeah but it's pretty good um manga wise yeah okay the but you can see like the the animation's been reused and the the story doesn't flow in the anime ah uh, okay but okay. like if you can bypass that somehow then yeah he, it's it's actually a pretty interesting concept like you know everyone thinks he's a new guy newbie and he's into this you know just starting off fresh and then they're like saying why isn't he specialized in weapons when you know he's just picking up so many web uh so many skills from different classes like healing mm -hmm. ninjutsu and all that without specializing mm -hmm. so yeah and his weapon is an umbrella which like transforms into a spear a gatling gun <laughs> uh, but it's because he picked up all those skills yeah yeah so and then like people are like getting whooped he's clearing dungeons the fastest and he's like breaking records on the the, the new server so yeah Damn. i think it's interesting uh, the manga but if you want to check out the anime you'll see like the inconsistencies and all that mm -hmm. but it's still pretty good i think fuck dude when art imitates life so answer me this right i've definitely seen a trailer of this anime before and it made it look like uh a love story drama is that 
in this at all. Mm, I don't think so much any of love I've seen. It's more of just, yeah, just like he's just always happy and he's playing the game that he loves and um, he's whooping everyone's ass in, in the meantime. Okay. Yeah, in the trailer I saw he was arguing with a girl in like on a bridge at night and it was snowing. So I was like, oh, I see where this is. This anime is going, dude. <laughs> it's going <laughs> the way of I'm going to try and watch it for, for cool, you know, anime video game plays but not it's gonna end up like violet evergarden where it's a love story for like five hours dude I'm oh no no nah, nah. you're not gonna get any of that yeah <laughs> okay that's at first good to know. that was what drawn me and i was in the, in the beginning like he's like you know his uh i guess his support character is mm-hmm. with this girl that he's oh. been playing games with and then you know things go sour with the business they've done dirty and she's like saying why are you quitting don't quit yeah 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 yeah. he's like well you know just take care of the team so he leaves and then that's it that's the last i've seen between those two but it's mainly uh, more of uh he's just playing for fun yeah and then he's whooping uh all these 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 veteran players that are like really good and they're well known but no one knows who he is until yeah See, that could be a good side story, too. Just his whole relationship with the support character. Damn, why does the support character have to be a girl, man? I know, huh? Like, R&P, why can't the bro. girl, like, why can't he be the support character? <laughs> but, yeah, he's, like, the top, uh, I guess, the top player in gotcha. the whole game universe of that universe. Mm-hmm. So, if it was me, if I was him, going back to our last conversation, yeah, man, I think I would continue playing. Just to be like a middle finger to to Blizzard, dude. And every time I win, I would be like, "Yo, free Hong Kong, bitches!" I would every time, dude. Dude, yeah, I think that's what his motivation. I is. would win if they if they they're like, "Okay, man, here's the thing: we're not gonna do any more post game interviews with you. You're just <laughs> just so we you don't have the opportunity to say anything flagrant like that, right?" I'd fucking wear a shirt, a fucking hat. <laughs> I'd name my character Free Hong Kong or some shit like that. Dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'd totally do it just to be like, yeah, I'm the best at this game. What are you going to do, man? And do shit, you know, find someone that can beat me and then maybe I'll leave. But no, nah, I'm, I'm with him for sticking with it, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, Tur- and I think that's why, why he stuck with it, too, is because he loved the game you yeah, know it was yeah, yeah, it was yeah. it wasn't so much for the glory it was more of just like enjoying it and everyone else is enjoying the game so i was like yeah i yeah. can relate to that yeah so so good for him man so he gets to play next year soon enough so um let's see what else speaking of other big game companies dude riot the guys that made league of legends it's their 10th year anniversary for league of legends and they just went all out dude they're gonna make a league of legends fighting game they're gonna make a overwatch type shooter they're gonna make a card game and they're gonna make a bunch of movies man i am down for the movies because yeah i I haven't seen the trailers but yeah if it's gonna be as good as that kda <laughs> Wait, that was a fucking music video, dude. Are you gonna it's compare gonna be as that good to as that shit? But uh, no, if the animation is different. I don't mind either, because like <laughs> I, I can see there's a lot of good lore. You know, like yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of good lore. When I was like reading some of it, I was like, damn, dude, uh-huh. this this is pretty interesting. And then the recent video, I think, because they had like a game, like a tournament. I don't know, but yeah, they just had another video. And uh-huh. it was like showing the different classes and the different arts, the different animation. And I was like, damn, I would actually like to learn all of that. Um, but uh, without having to play, <laughs> without having to play League of Legends, dude. I right? want to, I want to, but I've been so caught up with uh, like so many uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, man, I bet you fucking Dustin is super excited for all this shit, dude. Next thing you know, he's gonna get super good at like Overwatch and shit because there's a there's a Overwatch but League of Legends characters, dude. You think? Oh yeah, he's gonna be world class pro, man. <laughs> I already know. But see, that's so smart though. I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. You know, um, <clears throat> I think Mortal Kombat tried to do it. There was like a Sub Zero single player game, which was super hard. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know why other, for example, let's see, Gears of War, right? Gears of War ruled the world at one point when it was first on Xbox. Why not branch out and make something other than a shooter, you know? Why not make like a rhythm game where you have to rebuild a town or something? Yeah, why not make a, make like, uh, what's that game where you farm the new one? That you always wanted Stardew Valley, but fucking Gears of War version, you know, where you rebuild town and shit. They should do something like that, man. No, instead they came out with the, the Funko Pop Gears of War, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I definitely think more people should do that though, you know? Um, yeah. Look at Persona. Persona makes rhythm games and shit. Um after their RPGs are the main ones. So I think this is a cool move. I think everybody should should do it if they're successful. Don't just stick to the same um formula. kind of formula yeah exactly exactly expand a bit um some if it doesn't work it gets kind of tired though like mario run that is kind of lame but you can do something innovative i'm i'm all for it man yeah they make a and see that's the thing with monster hunter world i think they did that maybe on purpose on accident but all in the same game right like i said using the long sword i feel like it's just you know, a whack-a-mole. It's kind of just like Dark Souls-ish, but a lot easier. And then I use the uh, I use the light bow gun. Then all of a sudden, I'm playing like Red Dead Redemption or GTA. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that the the difference in, in in gameplay I think keeps things fresh. And I hope more people do exactly what League of Legends did, dude. Um, which is crazy because these guys are quad billionaires right and league of legends is like a free game to play that's kind of wild man yeah yep so looking forward to all that man um i think all this stuff the fighting game especially is like a long way off um they just had some i think they didn't even show a trailer for it they just showed people um designing the game and doing a couple moves um the shooter looked super early too i think the card game is probably what's gonna come out the the fastest dude um but yeah man I think that's a that's a company that knows what they're doing for sure, dude. Um, what else is going on out here? Oh, speaking of Red Dead, dude, I've been seeing all these articles about the weekly bounties, um, where you have to hunt, you know, a certain outlaw in the West. So I jumped in to Red Dead Online, and that game is fucking amazing, man. It's always amazing. I don't know why <laughs> I, I ever stopped playing it, dude. <laughs> so uh, I think we pre-ordered, or at least I pre-ordered the Ultimate Deluxe Edition, whatever it is. And so I have all this gold, all this money to spend online. I look like a level 300 character, and I'm like level 7 right now, dude. I have the fastest horse for free. I have a fucking eye patch, a sawed-off shotgun. Um, a lasso that's made out of thorns and shit, dude. I just have fucking everything. So the game got super easy for me, man. <laughs> I got a bunch of <laughs> explosive ammo and a free pistol. So I'm out here, dude. I think one of my missions was to hunt a cougar mm. and bring it back. Um, oh, see, and that's what's cool, too, is there's missions on the online. So you could either do evil missions where you steal stuff or good missions, which are basically just favors for people. Uh, like you actually go farming or protect a cow or something like that, right? So the mission I got was actually from Bonnie McFarlane, man, from the first Red Dead. And she wanted me to kill a cougar because her dad was threatening to hunt it and she was afraid he would get killed by it. So she asked us to kill it for him. So I think I told you this before the first time I played a mission in Red Dead Online. But so I hunt the cougar, kill it, and then I'm bringing it back uh, to get paid by Bonnie because she was going to pay me for the body. Um, they were going to stuff it or whatever. And as I'm getting closer to the McFarlane Ranch, I see on the top right corner, it says, Buop is about to complete a mission. Here is his location on the map. Oh, well, what the fuck? <laughs> So it shows where I am to everybody else that's in the world and they can come kill me and finish the mission and get the XP for something I did all the work for. Wow. So it is fucking tense, right? I'm just riding my horse, head on a swivel, looking around. I have my explosive ammo fucking ready, dude. And of course, right in front of Bonnie McFarlane's house, 
there's this motherfucker like crouched behind a fence, dude. I see him because I see his little name above his head, right? Uh. So I park my horse kind of by the stables, dude. And I walk up there and he, I see him and he kind of peeks. And I just run around, jump over the fence and just start spraying, dude. I'm not even going for headshots. I could see he's trying to do the quick like aim and tilt up to try and get a headshot on me. Yeah. I unloaded maybe 13 explosive rounds into this guy, dude. Damn. <laughs> he died 10 times over, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I quickly turned in the fucking cougar, and I was I was so stressed, I, I turned the game off. I was like, okay, that's all the XP I need today, dude. <laughs> 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 but it's it's fun, man. I was there. All the stuff that you could do in the single-player game, you do in Red Dead Online. And it's kind of just you make your own story and you become your own character. You don't have to follow like Arthur Morgan's story and how he plays. You could do exactly what you want to do. You could be a hunter. You could be um, a trader. You could be a sheriff. You could be a vigilante. There's like different roles that you could fill and role play as. Um, so that's why I think it's 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 just super fun, man. Um, I haven't tried the the bounties yet, the weekly ones, because I jumped into one, and I you have to match make I think to do it. And when mm-hmm. I got in there, the team already had like one death left. I was like, all right, dude, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this. This looks hard. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not just gonna ruin these guys' time. So, um, yeah, man, you might see me on there a, a little bit more often now, dude. You still haven't finished the single player, huh? Nope. <laughs> like on <laughs> chapter four or something. I need to just sit down and play all these games. I'm like, you know that? I am so behind. <laughs> I think that's a good place, though. Because for sure, my save file in the single player where I'm playing right now is is around chapter four. Because after chapter four, things get kind of crazy, man. And, well, you already know, right? Like... If you played Red Dead One, but the whole gang like dies or gets arrested, you know? Yeah. So that's like after chapter four, one hundred percent, and things just kinda get kinda crazy, and then you start missing all your friends that you were camping with, and then you realize, man, I was hunting, you know, a, a bear for five days so I could have this bear rug in the camp and it doesn't even matter, you know? So I think where you're at it's a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at you for not finishing the game, dude. <laughs> I, I was, I'll, I'll finish it sooner or later. It's just <laughs> so many things. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. I think that's. I think that's all I got, man. You've been playing anything else besides Runner, Mario or? Kart? <laughs> oh, nice, man. Are you been bringing it to work or something, or what? No, I just. Well, I just bought it uh, over this oh, weekend. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, I just been playing it on my off time, and I can see why why it's uh, pretty fun. So I might actually like bring it every day to work and just mm-hmm. just play it during lunch or something like that. So yeah, uh, Mario Kart is pretty fun. It's just how I remembered, you know. Was, there's like simple just gas and drifting and whatnot and mm-hmm. I think I want to play with other people like our friends and stuff like that. Is Mario Kart is that game still 60 bucks? God, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, dude. Damn. I don't know what the fuck. You know, the game came out like so many years ago and it uh-huh. still sold the full a full price. And I was like, <laughs> man, they're, I guess they're milking it, you know? Like yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. there's a lot of people that still want to play these games, so let's just full price all of them. I'm yeah. Like, ah, okay. Fine. Nah, it's it's Mario. It's kind of just like Disneyland, you know? It yeah. Everybody's always going to want it, so they'll just never put it on sale because it doesn't matter. People will buy it at full price no matter what. So I get it. It's 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 creative, creative uh, accounting and marketing, dude. It's, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, yeah. Um. But have you been playing against like the uh the super good Japanese Mario Kart players? Not yet. I haven't played on online yet because I'm too scared. So <laughs> I'm gonna go through all of the races first, unlock okay. everything, and then <laughs> then I'll try my luck because I know that I am not good. I know there's like hidden little spots, people riding <laughs> on the wall, doing oh, yeah, backflips, yeah. and so I'm not there yet. All yeah. I know is just how to shoot a green shell, and yeah. See, I like that's the greatest thing, and I think 
that's what makes most video games great is the accessibility right it's easy to pick up mario kart and play it's not too hard to get down you know there's a little bit more advanced maneuvers like uh jumping drafting or drifting right by breaking around corners and that so there's places where you can improve but if you just want to race in general it's easy it's like the bar for entry is low but the to become a pro and the skill ceiling is super high, you know. I think games are that do that are really good. Unfortunately, games like I think games that are our favorites like uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne are are, are kind of like that too. I think yeah. um, what's the, your favorite game is like that too, man. Not Witcher, but um, Batman. Batman is like that too. You could do some insane combos. Or just press two buttons the entire time you play that game. <laughs> exactly. You can press like dodge and attack. That's all you need to press, right? But if you want to be cool, you could be like, oh, let me throw this fucking bomb over Battery, here. Battery, yeah, bomb throw- <laughs> there. Let me do a backflip while putting a bomb on the ground. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Grapple to the ceiling. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I can't think like that. Yeah, yeah. It's just the sky's the limit. You're just limited by your own mind and I guess your dexterity with with the buttons you can press. Uh, Yes, Spider-Man. Spider-Man was like that too, where you just had all these gadgets, but if you really wanted to, you could just press two buttons and get fine in the game and and finish the game. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, no, I think those games are the most enjoyable for sure. Um, But yeah. Oh, that's why I won't be able to buy Mario Kart for a while, dude. Because... Although now, you know, I've been kind of saving and being pretty good. I'm not as a broke boy no more as I was <laughs> before. Um, but I'm picking up fucking Modern Warfare this week, man. Damn it. Yeah, that's back, what man. I I made a mistake and I completely forgot about it. I sh- yeah, yeah, I should have <laughs> picked that up too. <laughs> it's okay, man. I'm, I'm definitely going to be rocking the, the single player story on there for a while, man. Um, I think I might be the only loser that that's gonna get Call of Duty for the fucking campaign, the single player campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else, the first, they're not even gonna play. It. The first thing they're gonna do is jump in into the multiplayer, you know, first to rank a hundred or something. Or the videos we're gonna see for Call of Duty, not how great the story is, you know. Yep. So, which comes to I guess another point, right? I I can save myself. 60 bucks and just watch a YouTube video <laughs> of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, nah, man. I gotta experience no, that get, shit. You, exactly. You gotta play. It's you gotta, gotta be, be me. It's gotta be me in the in the fields shooting the AK-47s, dude. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, well, yeah, no, exciting. Um, We'll see how that goes next week. Let us just see real quick. Any last minute things, man? Um... Damn, there's actually a couple PC games that I'm excited for. One of them is called Disco Elysium. That's like a detective story mixed with D&D. So it looks fucking cool. But it's $40 and playing games on the PC is super uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I think that's it, dude. So yeah, that is it for us this week. We will see you guys next week talking about Call of Duty. But first, Rick, what do you got today? Question? Words of wisdom? Question. Oh, shit. I, I, wait. Hold up. Hold up. I forgot the question. <laughs> it had something to do with the PS5. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you think is going to be the most prominent feature on the PS5? Prominent feature? Yeah. Like, minus VR. Minus VR? that no load times everything once we press a button it's gonna happen in fact things are gonna happen before we press a button dude damn it voice automatic no it's gonna like read our minds dude so we oh damn it see now i have a funny story to tell real quick before we leave right so uh, the other day i was watching um air force one right the one with uh, han solo harrison ford he's the president uh his plane gets hijacked right yeah so in that movie, um, he pretends to go into a cockpit and escape, but he doesn't really escape. He stays on the plane so he can he can kill all the terrorists and save the day, right? So I'm watching this, I think, on Amazon Prime. So I open up a new tab in my Chrome, and what am I going to search? Any guesses? It's going to be Air Force One. Yeah, I, my, I was going to search specifically, does Air Force One have a 
um, what is it, have an escape pod. That I just wanted to see if that was a real thing or if that was just something for the movie, right? So I click on this new tab, I go in Chrome, and I go to the address bar, and I press D, and guess what suggestion pops up? Does it have a cockpit? <laughs> And it had the answer, the sons of a bitch. And it said oh, the whole question, and then it said no. And I was like, fuck you, Google Chrome, for reading my mind. So that <laughs> is going to be the greatest feature on PS5. It knows what buttons you're going to press before you press it. Damn. We'll see so you guys next like. week. <laughs> <laughs>